Yeah, of course. And I, I'm not going to talk specifics, but I'll, I'll just sort of um, reiterate what I said earlier this winter about about free agency, which is that uh, you know you, it's free agency is important, and you know you have to be aggressive if, if you hope to get something done in this in this uh, current landscape. You know, where a lot of teams have money and and, and good players are are at a premium. There's more demand than there is supply for, for elite players. There's no doubt about that. Um, but you also have to maintain some sense of, of discipline and limits and long-term perspective. And you know, if you go into free agency thinking you're you're one player away and you need this one, you need any one player at all costs, um, you're probably going to end up getting burned. You're probably going to end up um, with an organization that's that's not as healthy as it can be years down the line. Now that said, there are players who are important, and and you know there's a time to be very aggressive, and, and a time to know what you want and, and do everything within reason to get it. And you just have to balance those interests. You know, I think I said free agency is not for the faint of heart, and it's not both ways because you have to be prepared to be um, ultra aggressive if you want to if you want to um, you know come away with what you're looking for, and you also have to be prepared. Uh, to fail um, two ways. You have to be prepared to fail um, in that you, know, you have to be uh, you have to be able to accept not landing the player um, because there are always other alternatives and you can't go in to any uh, pursuit at all costs um, throwing you know uh, reason to the wind. Um, and you also have to be prepared to fail that sometimes when you when you do land the player, you know, co contracts don't always work out, and so the key in, in that respect is to build the organization up to a point where you can recover from any one player not performing, where you have young players ready to step in, uh, you have depth, you have redundancy, um, and, and you have you know, lots of, of cost-controlled assets that can help you recover from something like that. So I think we've done you know, a nice job of building up the organization to a really healthy place where we can be aggressive, and we are being aggressive, and we'll continue to be aggressive, um, but we're not going to enter into any one negotiation as if it's um, do or die. You know, the Cubs are in, the Cubs are in a really nice spot compared to we were where we were a few years ago. I think we're going to uh, continue to to get healthier and healthier as an organization. And you know, if we if we're successful in one of the two things that we're trying to do this winter, um, we're going to be very competitive uh, very soon, um, regardless of how it turns out 